Want to know if the 4Flight Sentry ADS-B is the right one for you? Stick around for my two-year review of the 4Flight Sentry ADS-B receiver, its features, my likes, dislikes, and if you stick around to the end, I'll show you some footage of the Sentry at work while I fly over NASA's space shuttle runway. Coming right up. Hey aviators, I'm Ty Jones, your Aero Nerd, and if you're new here, this video is all about giving you my honest experiences, reviews, and training tips that'll help you aviate, navigate, and communicate. So consider subscribing. Now in this video, we're going to be reviewing the Sentry. So two years ago, I wanted to get an ADS-B so I can see the weather, I can see the traffic around me. These ADS-Bs now that you can actually hook up to your aircraft, can they can see traffic, they can see weather. Um, some of them have AHARs in them, some of them have WASP, GPS. It's just amazing. So I was like, hmm, should I get either the Stratus or should I get the Sentry? I ended up getting the Sentry and I'll show you why here in a bit. I'm gonna throw out some specs on the screen right now. So as you can see at the time, there was the Scout, the Sentry, and there's also the Stratus 2, but now it's the Stratus 3. Now the Stratus 3 has, it's, it's a little bit more expensive, but looking at the specs, I was more concerned about the battery life and I was just worried about the O2 detector, the carbon monoxide detector. The Stratus 3 did not have the carbon monoxide detector and the Sentry's battery lasted much longer. So why would I spend $700 when I could literally spend $400? And it was $400 at the time I, go, I bought this. Now, as you can see on the screen, it's $499. But why would I spend the extra money if this, to me, has more usability than the Stratus? So I actually got this off of Sporties when it came in the mail and they shipped it pretty quick. I got it and it came in this nice flat case. I'll go ahead and unzip it here. And you open it up, it has this quick start guide. It's, I mean, it's pretty nice. I mean, it gets straight to the point. Um, but it's very comprehensive once you actually start using it. There's nothing really hard about it. All the features and settings you can um, easily access in the ForeFlight app on your iPad or on your phone. Comes with a RAM a suction mount, which easily uh, applies to the window. Now, if you have one of those curved gla uh, curved canopy glasses, it can still attach itself fairly easily. But if it's on a if it's a really really curvy glass, I mean, you can just you, I mean, you can you can work with it. I've flown a sport cruiser, and uh, the those the canopy is a little bit curved, and, and I had no problem with it. But even though this is a nice case, I don't really ever use it. I take it and I have it actually in my flight bag. This case would definitely protect the uh, Sentry, but I just my flight bag does uh, has enough protection itself, so I don't really use it. But anyway, it is a it is a pretty nice case. Now, as for the Sentry, it does. I really love this Sentry because it does have the ADS-B weather. You can see the traffic on your ForeFlight app. It has a built-in AHAR, so um, attitude heading reference system. Yeah, the in, the antenna is obviously internal. Now, as far as the battery, it does say it's 12 hours. I'd have to disagree. I would say it would probably last more about eight hours. Uh, through my experience, I have done a cross country from Ormond Beach to Marathon in the Keys and back. That's about a six hour flight now uh, to and from. And as I land, I get the low battery uh, indication on the ForeFlight app. And it's only a six hour flight. So if, I, if, so if it's good for 12 hours and why on a six hour flight, it's the battery, I'm getting a low battery indication. But anyway, uh, maybe because I use it a lot, I fly a lot, you know, I am, I am a flight instructor. So maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know, but that is a, a thing to consider. That's the only dislike that I have. All the other ones are, I, I just love this thing to death, but uh, that's the only dislike I, I, I have about it. Um, I don't know if you can use this with any other applications other than ForeFlight because this is a ForeFlight uh, ADS-B, but um, I like Wi-Fi. So when I have my, uh, my, so when I'm flying with my students and they have an iPad, they can actually connect to my Sentry. And I believe a total of five devices can connect to the Wi-Fi. So it's not Bluetooth. Has the WAS GPS. And also has, as I mentioned before, has a carbon monoxide detector, which is pretty cool. And you can actually test it in the within the four flight app and it, it is it is pretty loud you, you, you'll definitely be able to you'll definitely hear it when if it goes off has a pressure altitude sensor which is pretty cool and the weather replay now as soon as you turn on the weather it it won't go back 30 minutes it'll go so you have to fly for 30 minutes for for it to actually show 30 minutes so if you hit as soon as you turn it on and hit play 
uh, it, nothing will happen. It'll, it'll show maybe one minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. But as you fly, maybe 20 minutes later, then it's gonna show the whole uh, history of that flight from when you turned it on. And then finally, synthetic vision is also pretty cool as well. So there it is, and here I am two years later with this, and it still runs just as if it was brand new, and I love it. I would trade it for the world. I will put a link to this in the description below, so go ahead and check that out. Stay tuned for my next video for those who are about to get ready to do their check ride. But until then, keep flying, keep learning, and always have fun. And as promised, I'll show you the footage of me flying over the NASA space shuttle runway. And don't judge my students' perfect centerline landing. <laughs>